Hello everybody, this is Game and Change. How are you? Today I'm playing some Destiny Forsaken content. We're going to take out the Trickster. And he's needed as part of the Forsaken campaign. So we gotta take down each of these adventures on Tangled Shores. I'm gonna do this one right now. I'm gonna land here. I have a new idea for how I'm going to do voice. You may notice the audio is messed up a little bit. That's because I have the ceiling fan on. So what I'm going to do is when I'm not speaking, I'll press the mute button on the mic. And I adjusted the mic so that they can sit in front of me while I'm near the TV. So I'll just play casually, enjoy the content. You can come with me while I play, play the game with me. And when I have something I want to say, when I have something I want to share, I'll speak. I'll try to make things worthwhile. I'll try to make things, is educational the word? I'll try to make it have value in some way. Any experience that I care to share or anything I want to say about my day, I'll put it in here and hopefully somebody can can uh, have value, can see value in, in that. Oh yeah, I have a sniper rifle now. Oh yeah. Uh, let me go ahead and turn this audio off. Microphone off. Get no scoped. See a little gift there for you. A little little package there for you. I wonder. Are you strong enough? Are you strong enough? Are you strong enough? Sometimes I have fun playing if I haven't played in a while. I like sometimes playing I call it playing in character. I'll play in character sometimes. Say things as if I'm really there. Every FPS that I play, it always feels like I'm me in the game. And instead of a game, it feels like I'm in an anime. Okay, let's do this adventure. I'm having too much fun. Now, if you notice, I'm actually using the new, the new Titan subclass. So I'm, I'm, I'm unlocking this tree. I have Thunder Crash and I have Ballistic Slam. Now, I gotta say, Ballistic Slam and Thunder Crash, they're, they're okay for the sake of variety. Maybe it gets better later with some interesting gear. But um, but right now, I don't really like it compared to like I'd I'd I prefer ooh I messed up there, I prefer shoulder charge honestly, and I prefer um the regular um ooh let me bounce out of here, I prefer the regular um special, what's it called um what's the regular Titan special called? Let's see, what is it called again everybody? called okay let me get out of here I'm getting blasted guys can I check my my information in peace it's the ground slam I know it's not called ground fists of havoc fists of havoc fists of havoc binds to a so What I had was Fists of Havoc combined with Terminal Velocity. 
However, now I have Thunder Crash, where you jump in the air, and I'll show you later. Right now, I'm just, I'm just I'm playing the game right now. I don't mean to be boring, but I'm actually reading this information, getting excited about what's going to be coming up next. Inertia Override, Code of the Missile. Picking up ammo during a slide reloads your equipped weapon and increases weapon damage for a short, a short time. Okay, we can unlock this by defeating enemies with my arc ability using the code of the missile. After sprinting, da -da -da -da. okay. <laughs> and we have a oh, we have a shotgun, and it's higher light. I'm so happy right now. You have no idea. Is there a public event coming? Oh. Hello. Hello, my friend. Oh, I don't have any ammo. Here, enjoy that for a minute. Enjoy that for a minute. Again, I apologize for the audio quality, my friends. I really want this ceiling fan on because it's hot back here. Ooh, we have some special ammo. I should have slid over it to see if it reloads my gun. Because it's supposed to. If you slide over ammo, it reloads your gun. Hello, everybody. Can I please test my shotgun? I want. Oh, I'm out of ammo already. I had a nice shot lined up for you. Okay, I'm gonna do this relaxing style. Let me find a nice little area to relax and test out this sniper rifle on a shielded enemy. Hello, shielded enemy. How does the sniper rifle work on you? Does it work okay? It works okay. What about on you? It works okay on you as well. Can I test it on somebody else? Oh, a cabal. It works nicely on you. It works nicely on you. What about no scopes? Was that did that connect? It works nicely on you. It works it works nicely on you. Oh oh, oh I don't have any ammo at all. Okay. Let me just come out of here then. Since we don't have any ammo. What about what about this? What about that? How you feel about that? Since we don't have any bullets. But we don't have any you forget about this though. Don't forget about that though. Don't think I don't have anything. I always have something. Now I'm on I'm not always this vocal when I play all the time, so don't be surprised if you see some content from me and I'm just playing quietly. Sometimes I might have my son or my daughter in here, and we might be talking about other things. I might have the mic on mute. Sometimes I'll be doing something intense, and I'll just have the mic on mute. Maybe I'll be eating, have the mic on mute. These are all mute situations. Maybe I'll be listening to an audiobook while I play. Mute. Maybe I'll be making payments over the phone for different services and goods. Mute. This is such a waste of ammo we doing that though. Oh hi hello everybody. Enjoy that package. There's a package that I delivered. I don't think so. Oh. Do you have something to say? You have something to say. Speak louder. Speak louder, my friend. Let me up there. What's in your pockets? You have drugs? No, oh, okay. Just check it. No scope. No scope. Oh. 
Oh, 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 I'm getting destroyed now. Now I'm getting destroyed. Now I'm getting... Okay. Alright, hold on. Don't forget that I have a shield now. No one ever uses the shield. I use my shield. Oh, you want to get bold. You have something... You have something to prove to me? Something to prove to me? Oh, okay. Everyone's strong now. Okay. Alright, I like strength. Everybody's strong now. What about now? Rawr! You strong now? What about now? Who, 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 who's that? Oh, we have a, a whole event over here. Boom. Everybody calm down. Calm down. Oh. Oh, it hasn't charged up yet. Okay, let's loop the loop around again. Has my ground pound charged? No. Oh, I oh I need to be sprinting for it. That's why. Well, let's throw a grenade for starters. Oh, you're still shielded. Oh, this thing's still alive. First, we need to break that. Oh, I forgot we need to be... It needs to be activated for it to work. So now it's activated. Is it activated? Now it's activated. Ah, ah. Activated. Okay, you guys... Okay, alright, everybody. Everybody needs to calm down. And you... You, don't look at me. Don't look, don't look at me. Hold on. See, this always happens to me in Destiny. I, in Destiny 2, I, um, I know this is something that I need to do, but sometimes I just get sidetracked just having fun. I like the way the world works. I just like the game. I like, I like the quality FPS. I enjoy myself a quality FPS from time to time. What can I say? Let's go ahead and do this mission. Here I am with no ammo, no. All I have is this, I don't care. Okay. Um, I'm about to do some serious adventure. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the audio off, the mic off, while I enjoy some serious gameplay. I might unmute the mic if I have something to say. All right, hold up though. Hold up though. Wasn't there a chest over here that I missed? There was a chest over here that I was going to grab that I forgot to grab. There it is. Before I do anything, let me just go ahead and grab this chest. You know, you don't need to live though. You, none of you guys need to live. You guys don't need to live. I'm trying to open this chest. That's all I'm trying to do, everybody. Are you trying to protect the chest? Guys. Guys. Guys, look. I'm just trying to chill. I'm just trying to chill and get my chest. Y'all are being shady. Everyone's being so shady. Alright, thank you for my chest. You, back up. Back up. Back up. That's the new, that's the new special. That's the new special. All right. 
I'm going inside this house for a minute. I'm gonna chill right here for one minute. Let's see what I got. Ooh, got some nice legs. What else did I get? And I got some better arms. We don't need that anymore. We don't need that anymore. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Now, if anybody has any suggestions on what I should and shouldn't dismantle, please leave in the comments. Because I, I wonder about that all the time. I haven't actually put a lot of research into what I should and shouldn't dismantle. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know. I'm just being silly now. This glimmer is encrypted with a signature. A Raskis, the trickster. She's a hound who might find traps and flunkies. Bet we can find an informant somewhere around here. This is, an this is unexpected. I don't know what to do now. I guess I need to do some actual searching. Oh, yikes. 
No, oh, that didn't make any sense to me. Now I have an excuse, I'm used to bursting to where I want to go with shoulder charge. Now I need to actually have jumping skills. Oh, you know I'm mad about that. I didn't know what to do. Okay, I think I need to throw the the engrams at those points up there. Okay, let me try that again. Stop at a little, a little uh, drive-in real quick, a drive-through. Get some fast food. Thank you very much. A little pit stop. Matter of fact, I was trying to do my ground slam, but I, it wasn't charged. It takes kind of a long time to charge, in my opinion. <clears throat> Should I get involved in that public event real quick? I might as well. He's, he's almost dead. out my new friends all right there we go all right guys you guys be easy haha -ha, that was a good event all right
I don't need your fake ammo. You can't run. Oh, that ammo messed me up. Alright, watch this. Oh, I almost killed myself. I was trying to be so clutch too. Okay. I'm gonna leave that in though. I'm gonna leave that in for everyone to see. I'm not perfect. And I don't claim to be. I'm just a dude that plays games and likes to try to add value to your life in whatever way I can that can be through experience whatever I don't know I don't know bro I don't know last open the door
I can't believe that one attack took out so much life on that boss, on the trickster. Well, everybody, this is Game and Change. We took down the trickster. Today was um, a pretty serious day. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll know that I was focused today. Hit the gym at 5 a.m. I mean, I arrived into the gym at 5 a.m. Worked back and arms. Just some, some regular shit. Um, deadlift. Um, bent over rows um, with dumbbells, you know, one hand at a time. I also do suitcase deadlifts with the barbell and with dumbbells. Did the one-handed pull-down machine, uh, one hand at a time, left and right, targeting the lats. We did face pulls. We, we hit the calves, dumbbell curls forearm curls is that it well damn when you say it out loud it doesn't really sound like that much um, and then after that I went home ran a few errands for the family just um regular family routine on a Tuesday and then I decided to help with a family construction business just doing labor on the job site I think it's good cardio and it's good to see how uh, how somebody conducts their business. Sometimes, yeah, I learn a lot. I think um, I think the person in charge is a very good communicator, and I'm learning a lot of communication and um, organizational behaviors from this individual. So, I was doing construction labor from. 10 till about 3 and I like to get the gym out of the way first whenever I know I'm going to be doing construction because it, it means that then I don't have to worry about going to the gym after sometimes when you're out there all day in the sun and you're you know, I get soaking wet from sweat I get soaking wet from cement you know so sometimes it will really ruin your workout after you may even have thoughts about not wanting to go, but you do go. But then after that, it's nighttime. It just sucks. Well, it's best to start the day, in my opinion. Get the gym finished first, and then do other things after. So that's my recommendation. Get the gym knocked out of the way first. Do other shit after. Um, so I was doing that when I'm when I'm doing construction labor. I'm usually carrying a lot of blocks. Um, 
I'm folks uh, cinder blocks stacking up cinder blocks uh, setting up the cinder blocks for masons to build walls I'm um, making cement I'm keeping the cement it's called a mud board the, the board that a mason uses to scoop cement off of to lay block I keep the mud board filled up with cement I just do whatever is necessary a lot of loading and un un lot of uh, loading and unloading tools from different trucks a lot of shoveling and digging and one thing I'll say is that is a lot of good camaraderie out there a lot of good people uh, different people that you normally wouldn't meet unless you get involved with a construction crew you won't see these people in the office now I got stuck in the mud when I was there doing the construction I didn't know I was stuck in the mud I pulled up on the front of a home in the front lawn because there's nowhere else to park I can't park on the main street I pull up on the front of the home in the grass and I get to work after work it's time to leave and I'm stuck everybody already left it was just me and another gentleman who needed a ride home I didn't know what to do this is, I have an older car and it's a sports car so it can't really get out of the mud it was trying but it was just getting deeper and deeper into this muddy soaping wet grass so we tried different things we tried wedging wood and rocks under the tires and and it wasn't working we tried digging and adding rocky sand in and then backing up over that we tried pushing and rocking the car um, eventually um, some guys came back and they were trying to help and somebody came up with this suggestion of using a jack to lift the car so we lifted the car on one side put rocks under the tire lifted the car on the other side put rocks under that tire and then we were, I was able to um, to back out and some guys helped push the car it was just nice it felt cool that everybody was so enthusiastic to help and um, it's just it's just good it's good sometimes to step out of the regular work that you do to meet other people and learn other things and you come across different challenges across the way me since even though I work out so much I'm still at a point where I'm not lean at all I was leaner before but I'm still I still need to lose a lot of fat so I'm a little hesitant to give any advice to anybody because I don't look like shit I look like a regular fucking dude uh, I know I'm, I have some muscle, I have some accomplishments, but, you know, I, I honestly feel like I look like a regular person, and that's not how it should be. You know, I, sh I should be looking much better if I can just control the amount that I eat and control how much cardio that I do. And being in the gym, working out all the time is, is great. Working out at home all the time is great, but if you're going to eat excess calories then it doesn't matter and if you're not going to do some kind of well cardio is optional honestly you, know, you don't really need to do cardio but it helps if you're trying to burn fat so I mentioned this to say that there's a couple of different reasons why I like doing construction labor if you if you do it you're going to get if you're somebody who tracks steps you're going to get a lot of steps while you're out there you don't sit down at all and you're doing something all day you are physically active and using your whole body all day so I think if you did it every single day it might take a toll on you it might start to slow down some of your gains in the gym but if you're just doing it once or twice a week it can be very beneficial um, now that said, you know, I've been doing this for a year or two now. That said, you'll, I'll, I'll see, I don't want to say you'll see, but I'll see zero results in my physique, hitting at the gym, tracking my lifts, you know, doing full body workouts, doing splits, um, you know, it doesn't matter. And then, and doing construction and doing cardio at that time, doing the construction, you know, sometimes for physical fitness, doing the gym, you know, bodybuilder type workouts, um, hardcore shit too, squats, deadlifts, similar, everything, keeping track, trying to do more weight over time, progressing, linear. Um, 
doing all that plus cardio, throwing on a ho- throwing on a hoodie, sweatpants, and going to a soccer field, and just jogging. Um, started off with one minute. At one minute, every time I go, go twice a week. Work my way up to an hour, just jogging laps around the field. Um, doing that, see pretty much zero results. Looking looking more fucked up, looking more regular. Um, you know, um, if you don't control, if I don't control what I eat, so doing the construction and doing a lot of stuff doesn't even matter for me if I'm not controlling what I eat. So. I guess that's the gem or the jewel of this game, of this gameplay session. Uh, we took down the Joker, but at the end I shared my day with you. I worked out, I did some construction labor, it was fun, and then some of the kind gentlemen that I work with, they helped get my car from being stuck in the mud, and then I drove back home. I enjoyed a nice meal with my family. And now I have the privilege of playing this game with you. My name's Game and Change. Subscribe and like. And I try to make this, this, these videos and this channel, I try to provide some kind of value. I'm not sure what that value can be just yet. I'm not sure what direction I want to go. But I know I want to create. And I know I want to share. Um, I know I have things to offer the world and even though the quality may be low it's like if you disappear nobody knows anything about you unless you share content um, there'll be a few people that know about you but what have I really contributed was my mark that I've made even when I play the game I feel like the way that I play the game I want that to be kept track of. I want there to be a record of how I play. I feel like the way that I play games is unique to me. And I feel like the shit that I do is unique and could provide value to somebody else. There may be somebody who's also struggling, you know, crushing it in the gym, crushing it in, you know, taking on physical challenges, like sometimes doing physical labor just for the sake of having more calories burned but then maybe not seeing results because they're eating too much if there's somebody like that out there um, I'm with you I I hear you and you know and I've been there and I'm there now but um, that's why um, I want to leave you with this I actually call I call um, working out the I call it working out, like building muscle, training hard, not missing workouts. I call that treasure hunting. Oh, um, I apologize. I call that diamond creating, treasure creating, gold creating. Um, you're building up gold. You're building up treasures to be found eventually. So if you're, if you know you're getting stronger, you're you're lifting. You're keeping track. You're not missing workouts hardly at all, ever. Um, well, even though you may be eating too much, if you're keeping protein high and you're training, realize that you're building up some gems underneath. And when it's time to reveal that treasure, when you're going, when you start shredding, when you make a commitment to eat less and eat a certain way, whatever that way is. But when you eat less, but still keep the protein high, and you 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 decide you know you calculate how, what that number of calories is going to be when you start eating less, the treasure will be revealed, little by little. Every week you'll see a little bit of that treasure. Oh damn, a ripple there. Oh damn, a vein there. Uh, muscle there. Cuts there. You know, abs there, obliques there. So, that's always very nice to see in the mirror. And I mess around sometimes and I see, you know, cuts and, you know, even at my weight now, you know, abs and stuff, but only if I make certain poses and only if I'm in certain light in the mirror. 
it, it's not like that at all without me looking doing all kinds of different poses and different lighting in the mirror so things will improve um, but that's that's what I wanted to leave you with is just um, the concept of you know when you're working out you're building treasure when you're cutting fat you're revealing treasure uh, the treasure is there to be revealed so if you are somebody who's bigger but you're killing it in the gym realize that there's going to be some treasure underneath there when you do finally cut down on the fat uh, this is game of change we just finished killing the joker we have a few things left um, to do we have to finish the rest of the barons in the tangled shore I like keeping track of the barons through the triumphs and through um, destinations the tangled uh, shore you see so I can tell the trickster we just got him we still need to do rifleman mad bomber and mindbender and the machinist and the fanatic okay so we have quite a bit to go through okay but the trickster is finished and you guys helped me with that appreciate that game of change out like subscribe comment peace